the news headline troops neutralize IPOP or ESN gunmen in Anambra recover weapons. The news details troops of 84th Division Nigeria Army conducting exercise Golden Dawn have neutralized four gunmen of the proscribed indigenous peoples of Biafra and Eastern Security Network IPOP ESN in a fierce encounter as at Uombi Junction, Idimelu, Idimeli, South Local Government Area, on Friday, 29 October 2021. In a statement on Saturday, Brigadier General Oyema Uwachuku, Director, Army Public Relations, Nigeria troops engage the high pub or ESN fighters as they flee. He said, this followed the assailant armed attack on personnel of security agencies deployed at Ekulobi around about in Aguata local government area of Anambra State, during which troops swiftly mobilized to the scene and subsequently embarked on pursuit of the criminals along Unenwi, Unombi Road. Troops made contacts with the fleeing gunmen and engage them in a firefight, neutralizing four of the criminals, he added. Brigada Umachuku noted that the gallant troops also recovered two AK-47 refuses, one Galil Ace 5.56x45 EW gun, one Afrofeng and handheld radio, and one Black Islander jeep. Sadly, a personnel of one of the security agencies paid the supreme debt. In a separate operation, troops have foiled another attack by HIPOB ES and ESN gunmen at Omoze checkpoint in Orumba, South Local Government Area. The vigilant troops overwhelmed the attackers in the shootout that ensued, for, ensued forcing them to take to their heels, abandoning one pump action gun with nine cartridges, one dark blue Ford and four motorcycles, which the troops have recovered. The Nigerian army noted that the recent attacks are part of the proscribed Hypop or ESN plan to instill fear into the public and sabotage forthcoming Anambra State governorship election. Members of the public are reassured that the Nigerian Army, sister services, and other security agencies will not relent in resolutely confronting all criminals intent against the citizenry and national interest. Law-abiding citizens are enjoined to continue to go about their daily activities without any fear. They are also encouraged to report any unusual activity observed across a number of states to the nearest security post, he said. The troops have recovered some weapons from the IPOP or ESN men, killing four of the IPOP and ESN member. The Brigadier General Oyema Umwachuku, Director Army Public Relations, Nigeria troops engaged the IPOP and ESN fighters as they all ran away. This followed the assailant armed attack on personnel of security agencies. They were deployed at to Equilubia roundabout in Aguata local government area of Anambra states. During which troops swiftly mobilized to the scene and subsequently embarked on pursuit of the criminals. Along with Unombi Road, K 
killing two DSS operatives. The troops who made contact with the fleeing gunmen and engaged them in a firefight, neutralizing four of the criminals. They recovered a lot of weapons from them, even motorcycles and jeep. They also recovered one pump action gun with nine cartridges. The IPOP, Ahin Yesen, they are all planning to instill fear into the heart of the Anambraians towards the forthcoming Anambra gubernatorial election. They, are, they do not want the election to take place. That is why they are attacking the Anambra state. The attacks in Anambra have been on rise ahead of November 6 governorship poll. The high neck officials who are doing their very best to make sure that that day is free and fair. They had earlier expressed their readiness for an Amber state election before President Mamadou Buhari charged the military to ensure that nothing stops the forthcoming poll from holding in the states. On this note, the police force has made arrangements of deploying thousands of officers to see to, to the progress of Anambra State governorship poll. However, it is quite disheartening that despite all those preparations, the rate of attacks that has led to the destruction of lives and distortion of political campaigns in Anambra State have been on the increase. Recall that it's some people gathered together and distorted former Governor Peter Obi and Senator Enyaya Ababibe's campaign in light of the forthcoming election. The crowd were seen chanting an alien IPOP leader who has been in the DSS custody after his rearrest. Recall that another incident occurred whereby there was another attack which involves killing of two operatives of the Department of State Services while they were in a convoy carrying out the election campaign duty assigned to them. The high pub are finding everything to make sure that the Anambra State election would not hold. What do you have to say regarding today's? Please put your comment in the comment section. Thank you and God bless you.